Hey everyone, my name is Erin Maddox and today I'm going to teach you how to make spaghetti squash with ground turkey and sautéed vegetables. Me and my girlfriends are always looking for cheap, easy, and really healthy meals to make. So in about 45 minutes we'll have this meal prepared. Um, first off is to the grocery store though, so grab your list and let's go! Hey, we're here at the local Whole Foods to get our groceries. I like to shop here for my produce, but feel free to go to a King Super, Sprouts, or whatever supermarket you like to shop at. So I have my list, now let's go inside. All right, now we're inside in the produce section. So there's some things we need on our list today. Spaghetti squash, ground turkey, marinara sauce, garlic, zucchini, pepper, and seasonal vegetables. Your seasonal vegetables will be basically what's on sale. They're gonna be the freshest and the most flavorful during that time of the year. All right, so we came to the spaghetti squash. When picking a good spaghetti squash, you just want it to be firm, no mushy spots. This one's really big, so this, this spaghetti squash will feed probably six to eight people, just depending on the size of it. I usually, if it's a little bit smaller, we'll do half of a spaghetti squash, so if, when we slice this in half, you'll see that back in the kitchen, per two people. So this will definitely feed four to six people for dinner. All right, guys, so we've come to the marinara section part where we're going to buy our sauce. Honestly, just buy whatever's on sale. When we get back to the kitchen, we're gonna flavor it up with our own fresh garlic, Italian seasonings, and salt and pepper. So today, that's gonna be just classic marinara sauce, Whole Foods brand. What else can I get for you today? That's it. Enjoy. Thank, Thank you. you very much. All right, so I just bought one pound of ground turkey from the fresh meats department. Um, ground turkey is gonna be a really healthy option for you, 98% fat free. So if you're trying to pick a ground meat option, always go with ground turkey rather than ground beef. It's a much healthier option and lots less fat. So our first step after washing the vegetables is gonna be cutting our spaghetti squash. For one this big, it's gonna take close to 40 minutes at 450 degrees in the oven. Something a little smaller might take closer to 30. And when, our cut when we're cutting our spaghetti squash, we're gonna do it long ways from top to bottom. And then you're just gonna go alongside of the rind, this um, rind part right here. They are pretty thick, so get a sharp knife. Now that our spaghetti squash is cut in half, this is the part that we have to scoop out. It's almost like the inside of a pumpkin. It's seeds and guts. This is not the part that we want to eat, so get a spoon and scrape this part out into the trash. All right, now it's time to put our spaghetti squash into the oven. I've already preheat the oven to 450, and we're going to bake these for about 40 minutes. Before placing our spaghetti squash on the baking sheet, you're going to add just about a fourth a cup of water to it. This is going to keep your squash moist and steam it while it's baking. Then just place these face down on your baking sheet. Now we're ready to stick them in the oven for 40 minutes. Now it's time to brown our turkey. I've already heated up the pan a little bit. We're going to brown and completely cook the meat first. Add the marinara, the fresh garlic, and the rest of the seasonings. When cooking ground turkey, um, you're going to just constantly be moving it around your pan. Obviously, it's bright pink right now. When it's completely cooked, all of it will be brown. You don't need to add any extra oil. Um, turkey's going to have a little bit of fat in it, just that 2%, um, which will make it, it not stick to the pan. Now our meat is completely browned. As you can see in the pan, there's no pink juices in it anymore, and all these little pieces are brown throughout. Now that our meat is cooked, we can add our marinara sauce. I've reduced my heat to low because we're just going to let this simmer for the rest of the time that our sauteed vegetables are cooking and our spaghetti squash is cooking. It's time to chop our garlic to add to our meat sauce. When you have a garlic like this from the store, your first step is just going to be opening up so you can see the cloves. So we're going to cut this part off right here. Now that our garlic is exposed, we can see, we can see the small cloves in here. So I'm just going to um, take off some of these outer layers to get to the cloves. There's three of them right there. Once they're here, there's still an outer skin on it. So we have to chop both ends off. 
and peel it so it's just the smooth garlic on the out, just the smooth garlic on the outside. Now that we have our cloves of garlic, we can just chop them into small slivers to add to our sauce. Here's our three cloves of chopped garlic that I'm going to add to our sauce. We'll be adding two more cloves of garlic to our vegetables later. In addition to our chopped garlic, I'm going to add Italian seasonings. And you can just guess on this, probably about a teaspoon. And garlic salt. All right guys, we're in the home stretch. Only sauteed vegetables left to do and then we get to enjoy the meal. All right, it's time to start chopping our vegetables. With asparagus, this bottom end is gonna be really tough. So we're gonna cut off about two inches of the bottom and then cut the other part into thirds. If you're gonna feed four to six people, I went ahead and used the entire bunch of asparagus in my pan, so I chopped the entire thing. Now it's time to cut the red pepper. When cutting the red pepper, I'm gonna cut it into thirds and de-seed it. So all of these seeds that are on the inside, we wanna get rid of. Then I'm just gonna slice and dice these. So I'm gonna slice them long and then dice them from there. You're just gonna dice your zucchini into half inch chunks. And then from these chunks, we're gonna dice them again into half circles. Now I'm gonna add two more cloves of garlic to those seasonal vegetables that we just chopped. Sounds like our spaghetti squash is done. So it looks like our spaghetti squash is done. It's tender on the outside now, so now we're just gonna flip them over, put a fork through it, and see if it shreds like we want it to. They are gonna be super hot, so make sure you have an oven mitt to flip them over. So it's time to saute our vegetables. With these, we're gonna add about two tablespoons of olive oil, toss that, a little bit of salt and pepper, and a little bit of garlic salt. Put this on medium heat and just stir continually. All right, friends, it's time for the grand finale, the actual shredding of the spaghetti squash. As you can see, mine got pretty golden brown on the edges, which is totally fine. You're just gonna take your fork and start at the top and start shredding for, to make your spaghetti. As you can see, it comes out like noodles. All right, friends, it's time to eat. So I'm just gonna pile a good portion of spaghetti squash first. Followed by our delicious turkey and marinara sauce on top. And some sauteed vegetables on the side. I had so much fun cooking with you guys today. This meal was cheap, easy, and a lot of fun, as well as healthy. So you can find this video on YouTube or on serendipitousgirls.blogspot.com. Hey, that's a wrap? That's, that's a wrap! wrap.